Today, we'll be looking at Quen Image Edit and how we can stitch two characters together in the same scene or environment. This is perfect for storytelling or even cinematic movie shots. Later in the video, we'll add Control Net so we can have more control over the image, especially for the pose we want. Instead of dropping a finished workflow and explaining it, we're going to start from scratch. Right now, we've got an empty workspace, and we'll slowly build a Quen Image Edit workflow. As always, the backbone of any workflow. The most important note of all, the K Sampler. I'll load it by double clicking on the empty area and selecting K Sampler. From here, we'll start building step by step. I'll change the steps to eight. Even though we can go down to four steps when using the LoRa, I prefer running it at eight for higher quality. The CFG value I'll set to one. Let's leave the sampler and scheduler the same. Now I'll drag out from the model socket Click Search and choose Model Sampling Aura Flow. For the value, I'll enter 3.10. From the model socket of the Aura Flow, let's connect the LoRa Model Only node. I'll load the Quen Image Lighting 4 Steps LoRa. In the LoRa model socket, we'll finally load the main model, Quen Image Edit. Since I like to use the GGF Q5 model, I'll search for the GGF node. The model loaders are complete. Now let's connect the rest of the sockets. For the prompt input node, we'll use the dedicated core node, text and code Quen Image Edit. I also like to color all the input nodes green. So I'll select green. Next, I'll drag out from the clip socket and select clip loader. For the model, I'll choose Quen 2.5 VL 7 BFFP8 scaled. For the type, I'll select Quen image. The device can stay on default. That's everything for the clip encoder. For the VAE, I'll load the Quen image VAE. And for the image input, I'll load a picture of a man drinking whiskey. Let's look at the image resolution. Since random images often give incompatible resolutions, I like to add a resize node right after the image load to avoid errors. When it comes to resizing, I like to use Langsos because it's one of the best algorithms for preserving image quality. Unlike basic nearest neighbor or billionaire, which can make images look blocky or blurry. Langsos uses a high quality sync filter in interpolate pixels. This means edges stay sharp, details are preserved, and you avoid the muddy look that cheaper methods give. It's especially useful when you're scaling images down because it reduces aliasing and stair step patterns. For AI workflows, keeping the image crisp at the resize stage helps the model interpret details more clearly, which often leads to cleaner and more realistic results. Usually, keep proportion works well, because it rescales but keeps the aspect ratio. I'll also set multiple of to 32, so the numbers round to a value divisible by 32. AI images love multiples of 32. That's because the underlying tensors in these models are built on grids of 32 pixels. Sometimes you'll also hear about numbers like 6, 8, 16, or 32. Keeping your width and height divisible by 30, 2 makes the math seamless and the generation cleaner. I'll enter low quality in the negative prompt and connect it directly to the K sampler. Then I'll send the latent output to an empty node. Since I like working with widescreen videos, I usually set the resolution to 1020, 4 by 576. That gives a 16 by 9 ratio, which is perfect for cinematic shots. Let's connect the latent output to the VAE decoder to get our result, and then connect it to a preview image node. Now our workflow is ready to run. For the prompt, I'll enter man walking in the flower field. Let's check the result. We do get a man walking in the flower field, but the original image of drinking whiskey is too strong. The model ends up combining both, and since the prompt force is walking, the character shows up with three hands. In this kind of situation, it's usually fixed with proper prompting, so I'll adjust the prompt Torah man walking in a flower field drinking whiskey. Now the original image of drinking whiskey is described along with the action of walking and the flower field environment. 
This time, the result comes out correct simply by fixing the prompt. Now let's add another character, a woman, so we can put two characters together in the same scene. This is possible using the image stitch node. I'll duplicate the image load node and resize node for the second character, then connect them to the image stitch node. I'll load an image of a woman wearing intricate, detailed attire and see how consistent the result is when combined with the first character. Finally, I'll feed the output socket into the image input. I'll change the prompt toe man and woman walking in the flower field. I'll also specify that the man is drinking whiskey, so the woman doesn't end up drinking it too. This keeps each character's action distinct while maintaining the scene's consistency. The result is amazing, exactly how we described it, and the reference images are well preserved. We can clearly see that these are the same characters we fed into the reference input. Both are walking in the same scene and everything looks consistent. This is the power of Quen Image Edit. Next, we add ControlNet into our workflow. This lets us have complete control over the pose of our characters, ensuring every position is exactly how we want it. By using pose maps, we can precisely define the composition of the scene. Now, we add the ControlNet node before it goes into the K sampler. We connect all the required nodes, including the VI and the control image. First, we use a depth map and for the node, we use Depth Anything version 2. We also connect a preview node to see the depth output. The model will automatically download the required files. For the control image, we have a man and woman walking in a flower garden with their hands held up in the air. We need to connect the control net model. The model name is Quen Image Instant X control net. First, we generate a normal image without control net applied. Then, we increase the strength to 1.5 and run it again. Now, Quen Image Edit generates consistent characters that follow the exact pose of the control net image. This gives us complete control over AI, generated images, perfect for storytelling in both images and videos. Next, we try another image of a woman holding a microphone, shouting at the man, while the man covers his ear. The result is perfect. Finally, we try using open posts for a dynamic scene with a woman and man fighting. With this method, we can control character actions and poses precisely, creating cinematic and consistent scenes every time. You can combine control net with depth and open posts using image blending. A blend value of 0.5 is good if you want to maintain the shape of the control image. For more creative freedom, open post works well. With the blend, you can adjust the settings to your preference and choose the balance between strict pose control and creative variation. With the power of Quen Image Edit and Control Net, this workflow is perfect for creating consistent storyboards and cinematic scenes. I've covered maintaining a consistent background in another video. By combining all these tools, AI for cinematic films is becoming more efficient and gives us precise control. If you enjoy this content, consider becoming a member of the channel. Your support helps me create more videos, tutorials, and detailed step-by-step -step guides. If you follow the tutorial to the end, you may not even need the workflow, but if you still want to download it, let me know in the comments. Thank you.